All right. What I did was I reversed the chuck in the chuck, <laughs> and I'm now gripping it by this knurled area here because I can't grip it because I might damage these threads back here. And the reason why I did that was to get this out here so I'd have something to indicate off of, and I've mounted an indicator. I've also uh, thrown it into the higher range speed just so I can turn the pulley by hand and get some because when I've got it in a low range it's kind of like back gear the compound drive engaged I turn this pulley and it takes forever just to make one revolution so anyways doing that now so looks like 23 thousandths and I've got it just snug in the chuck so believe if I get this that's my high spot 23 just give it a little tap alright so now that moved it down to 8 so let's see that's 17 thousandths down to seven. So now I'm ten thousandths out. So I think if I do that again, put it seventeen. All right, it's down to ten thousandths. Let's see what that does for me. Okay, it's ten thousandths, nine thousandths, up to fourteen. So that's five thousandths now. All right, right now, it's like I'm about three thousandths out. Like sometimes you play with this and you get just make it worse. Yeah, it doesn't help that there are some imperfections on this chuck barrel that every once in a while it skips over. That doesn't seem too bad. Now I'm going to try and tighten it. I tightened it and it changed. That's the problem. Let's see. Let's see what it is now. <laughs> seven to what is that? Seventeen, ten thousandths out. If I whack it while it's tight, worked a little bit. Well, that got better. Well, that's pretty good right there. I can live with that. It's just a few thousandths out. Now, now the plan is I've got my uh, reamer in here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this tailstock unlocked to let it uh, kind of float theoretically that uh, might help keep things under control Actually, looks pretty good right there, so I think I will lock it down. If I don't, then I try and uh, advance it in there. It's gonna just slide back. All right.
Oh. Yeah. You know what I probably should have done? Tighten the chuck. <laughs> Duh. Where's that chuck key? Well, I think that was a problem, right? I never did find a chuck key that really fit this well. I think I would have left it over here with the lathe, but no. There we go. Well, I went through all that trouble with chewing it up. I hate to take it out if it didn't work. But on the other hand, if it didn't work. It's not like I can do anything more with that. Ow. See that back of my hand? Good thing that wasn't a much sharper tool. All right, let's see. That seems right. <laughs> Listen to me like I know what the hell. Where's my light? This is not my permanent location for my parts washer. So I don't have a light overhead here. And quite frankly, my parts washer isn't my permanent idea. <laughs> isn't my ultimate idea of a workbench. I got a workbench over there, Chuck Full. I got a little workbench over there. Like, um, so what I want to see is I want to see how did that reamer do? How does that bore look? Hey, you know that looks pretty good. I'm mildly impressed with myself. Just mildly. So this seems to go in and turn okay. And now what's interesting to me is this almost looks like it should go in a little further. And what's keeping it from going any further is I think it's actually the scroll right here at the back isn't fitting. Maybe it is. Is that what is that hanging on? Turns and stops dead. Coming back in this direction. Nope, oh, whatever it is, it just Oh there we go. That's where it's supposed to be. There it is. Oh, that feels good. Oh, yeah. All right. Nope. <laughs> I guess it must click past that point somehow. So maybe you do have to press it out to pop it out of that spot that it's in right there, because... I got it in there now, and I got to tell you, it's not coming out easy. Let's rag down in case this pops out and drops, which I fully expect it to. Although this hammer might not do it. All right, I might have to put this back in the press. 
Just needed a real hammer. Jaws. Oh, this is number three. Three, three. Three is on the bottom. Number two. Two is on the bottom. Number one. What's the trick to this? That's it. Okay, that's fully open. And then as you're closing it, this is trying to back out of there. But it won't be able to do that once this is on with the ball bearings in it. Gee whiz, I wonder how I'm supposed to get those ball bearings to stay in where they're supposed to be. Alright. Now oh, that thing just unscrewed. I guess those ball bearings got to be in there to take up that space for this to work properly. That's what I'm thinking. Hoping. There's just some hardened grease deposits still in here. And just what are you supposed to lubricate this with? I didn't see any grease on this part. Or did I? Yeah, I did. It's still, it's still grabbing on something that doesn't seem right. Ball bearings maybe ride in here in that space right there. No, because then the no. Where did these ball bearings go? Well, if that's where the balls are supposed to sit, it sure looks like I'm missing one, or well, maybe more than one. Yeah, one or possibly two. You guys were here the other night when that thing popped out. Did you see any balls go anywhere? Oh, you son of a... No, no, that actually... Went. It's not great. Gotta be missing some balls. in some of my all right more careful all right well I looked all around on the floor area here and I can't find the ball bearings which means they've either rolled off to someplace I'm never gonna find or they weren't in there to begin with it's also you know it's always possible that I wasn't the first one to have this apart this is an old Chuck one of the beauties of this being an old U.S. made chuck, that ball bearing is exactly 250 thousandths quarter of an inch. I mean, you can't get much more on the dot than that. So that is going to be easy enough for me to find uh, someplace to procure a couple, two or three more of those. So what I just did is I just inverted the, uh, I just inverted that chuck jaws out facing down and put this on upside down okay and now I'll be able to drop all of the ball bearings that I do still have and of course I'm just looking at them real quick to make sure there aren't any damaged ones but they all look pretty good so now I'm just Drop them in there and get my light. Rotate it around so that they're not uh, stacking up on each other. Move my little 
use my punch to move them so I can get a better idea of exactly how many are supposed to be in there and it sure looks to me like two more would be the perfect fit. So I'm going to get myself two quarter inch ball bearings. 